subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates terrorism is a common challenge faced by all countries and pakistan has made tremendous efforts and sacrifice in fighting terrorism the international community should fully recognize and respect that china opposes all kinds of terrorism all countries on the basis of mutual respect, equality and mutual benefit, engage in anti-terrorism international cooperation to jointly safeguard the international peace and security. Today marks the 19th anniversary of the September the 11th incident, and I'd like to say that this incident brought many challenges to the global security now, the counterterrorism situation is still severe and it has posed um, risks to all countries. China poses all kinds of terrorism and we believe that the UN should play a leading role and we oppose double standards on counterterrorism and we oppose the attempt to link terrorism to any specific country. All countries should work together to prevent and fight terrorism and safeguard world peace and stability. So on this very special day, I'd like to say that we hope the U.S. won't forget terrorism and COVID-19 are the common enemy to all mankind, and China and Pakistan are not the enemies of the U.S. Regarding TikTok, U.S. President Trump said that he will not extend the deadline for TikTok to sell its business in the U.S., and it might be closed if it cannot be sold. So what's your comment? Regarding TikTok, I'd like to stress once again that China opposes the U.S. attempt to abuse the concept of national security and its national power to oppress specific companies of other countries. The U.S. economic bullying and political manipulation against non-American companies is typical coerced transaction by government and forced transaction by government. It is disguised robbery. It's in violation of the market principle and international rules and also a denial of the market economy and fair competition that the U.S. claims to champion. We urge the U.S. to stop oppressing foreign companies, including Chinese ones. And China will reserve, will take necessary measures to safeguard our company's legitimate rights and interests.